Hi, third and fourth class. I hope the work is going well for you this week. Um, I told you that I'd come back to you with a list of OULD and OUGH and OUGHT words. So here's a list I drew up. I, it's definitely not a definitive list. There's more out there. But um, compare it with yours. Maybe you might want to add some to yours. Or maybe you can um, be nice and, and um, smug with yourself if you got some that I didn't get. So I'll go through some of them just in case you don't understand their meanings. So we've got wood, could, mould, mouldy, mouldier, and you could put that kind of comparative ending on a lot of mouldier. Um, boulder, should, shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't, shoulder, shouldered, shouldering, smolder, smoldering. So they're two tricky ones. Smolder is, you've probably seen it in the fire when, some, when uh, the fire is burning without flames it's just producing smoke and people then might be described as having smoldering good looks over here i've got the o-u-g-h and the o-u-g-h t words i put a little cloud one around them if they had the t at the end so we've got tough cough ought it's another word for should i ought to have done my homework do rough donut a trough like a feeding trough though although plow bow like a branch through thought Drought, enough, bought, brought, not, another word for zero, thorough, throughout, thoughtful, and sought. So you searched out for something. I sought out my brother. I looked for him. Okay, so here's some suggested dictation. You can come up with your own yourself. Um, I have five here that I'll attach to this message. Um, they contain those words with patterns too, but they also contain our core words like idea and imagine um i can see look illness there and then some words that you should be able to spell just by examining our core words like i've got cared up here just like it's linked to injured it ends in re or vowel constant vowel so it takes a d at the end of it or same here wellness um that's from the same as illness remember all those ness words end in n-e-s-s -S. so um try out some of them and then when you're correcting them try and Look at the dictation uh, when you're correcting and compare it to your own one. So I did one here with a couple of mistakes and I'll show you how to, sorry about my messy desk, I'll show you how to um, correct. So here I've got, I'm comparing this to the dictation, the, the correct dictation. So I should have thought, I can see straight away here that thought is wrong here, but I've got a lot of it right, so make sure you give yourself credit for what you've got right. That's the problem I have with all those spelling tests that happen at the end of the year and things like that. You get zero marks if you get a spelling wrong, but you might have 90% of the spelling right. So let's see what we've got right. Okay, I've got the T, I've got the H. Okay, I'm wrong here, I'm wrong here. But I do have the G, H, T. So I need to learn my the two letters I've got wrong are the O, U in the middle, okay? So maybe I haven't fully linked thought as being an O-U-G-H word. I need to make sure that that sticks out on whatever chart I've stuck up on the wall or whatever at home. Okay, harder, that's right. About my idea. Okay, so now I'm going to have a little look at that. Looking below, it doesn't seem right. The I is right, the D is right, the E is right. Okay, I've got an extra E. So if you do an extra letter, cross it out, and your A. So you know I've got, I had the all right, I just had an extra one in there, okay? Um, and Make sure you go back to these words and write them out a few times during the week till you have them spot on. Okay, I imagine. Okay, looking down here, I'm missing something doesn't look right. The I is right, the M is right, the A, the G, the I, the N. Okay, and now I'm missing a letter. So if we're missing a letter, maybe you can just put a little circle up there to show you're missing something. Missing your E. Okay, and so on and so on. Um, keep going down, I've got, you correct the way is normal, but I just want to show you this one, tough, okay, so tough clearly isn't, isn't right, I, I didn't have the O-U-G-H ending in my mind, okay, so I've got the T right, but I've got this whole part of it wrong, so I really need to focus on tough and make sure it's one that sticks out on my chart on the wall and I keep coming back to it, I need to always be able to link tough to O-U-G-H, um, so that's the way you correct the dictations then. Find out which ones you're having trouble with and make sure you perfect them. Okay, well done. Happy um, work, everybody.